Welcome everyone. Today we'll be going over how to install the Raspberry Pi operating system named Raspbian. Uh, now there is also the Noobs operating system. Um, that is what we will be using today since you can create multiple operating systems and do a dual boot. So we'll go over that. And then we'll be using the Samsung Evo 128 GB SD card for this setup. Now this is just showing how to write an image to your SD card. Uh, we're not going to be doing that today. We're going to actually set it up using the Noobs operating system. That allows you to install multiple operating systems on the same SD card. And you can do dual boot as you can see here in the screenshot. So make sure that you download the Noobs operating system and then you will need to format your SD card as FAT32. We'll go over that as well. So make sure to click this link SDXC formatting instructions that will go over on how to format your card. So make sure to download that tool, download the Noobs uh, operating system do not download the light version uh, as it does not include as much uh, op uh, applications when you install it the first time so make sure you have your noobs operating system download the fat32 format tool <laughs> so you will go to this website right here Make sure to click on the image and that will start the download for the file that you need. I already have it downloaded, so we'll not worry about that right now. But create a next step will be to create a directory. Now extract the noobs operating system package that you downloaded. Make sure to extract it in a directory where you know it's going to be located. <coughs> And then as you browse the files here, these are the files that come with it. And that's the zip file for the noobs. So next we'll go to disk management uh, where we can um, create partitions and uh, format hard drives. Once you open that up, um, go to the location where your disk is located for the SD card. So today we'll be using the 128 gigabyte SD card for this setup. So just make sure there to delete the current volume if there are any. And then when you, once you get this message, just say yes. And that will give you unallocated partition. You will need to create, right click on it and then create a new simple volume. Now give the volume a label such as Raspberry Pi or whatever you like. It doesn't matter for this step. And then it will also give you the letter which the SD card will be mounted to. So right now we're using the L drive. Make sure that you know exactly which SD card you're going to be using. So now launch the GUI format.exe. This is the tool to format your SD card to 30, FAT32. Um, make sure you select the correct drive and then click start. If you do not get any er get any errors, it will give you um, a message saying done. And then you can just close out of the program. If you have issues, just feel free to comment below and I'll try to respond to your messages. Now go to the SD card directory. It is going to be empty. All you have to do is copy all the contents from the extracted noob zip file copy it directly to the root directory of the SD card and then just paste it. You do not need to have any shell directories. All you need to do is just copy all those files directly to the root. You do not have to make any folders or anything. Just make sure that you copy the entire set of files directly to the SD card. Um, and then make sure to right click on your SD card and eject it. That way you can safely remove it from your PC or any other computer that you might be using, such as Mac or Linux. Um, so once you have uh, the files on there, 
make sure to uh, plug in SD card into your Raspberry Pi and then boot it up. Now you get a list like this where you can select which operating systems you want. So make sure you have a list of which ones you need and then select each one that you need and then install them. Uh, each time you want to install new operating systems, you'll pretty much uh, need to format the SD card. And you can also connect to the Wi-Fi networks if you want to. Uh, this is just to help you download the files and packages you need uh, before, you know, during the installation. So we have selected Raspbian full, so that's the operating system. We'll click install, and then it says you want to overwrite everything and just say yes. This will uh, start the installation for the Raspberry Pi operating system. Um, just pretty much wait for it until it's done and you just say OK when you see this message and that will restart your Raspberry Pi and then it will start to boot into the operating system shortly. And once it boots, you'll see a screen like this. Welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop. Just uh, make sure you have a keyboard plugged in and a mouse. That way you can click on the next. And here you can select your country or language, the time zone. And also make sure to check the box for US keyboard if you are in the, U in the US. And then we're in time zone Chicago. And that's where I'm located right now. And just say next. And once uh, it's, uh, it's done setting the locations, it will ask you to choose a password. <clears throat> now this password is for the uh, PI or the PI user. So make sure to enter the correct password. Here you can select your Wi-Fi if you need it. And then update your software. Make sure to update your software. And once that is done, it will say system is up to date and then it will tell you to reboot. <clears throat> so go ahead and reboot. And next we'll go into raspberry-config. Uh, make sure to change the memory split and um, resolution if you need to. You can change it from raspberry-config commands or you can change it um, from the UI but uh, we'll go over that a little bit later in the video so once you're done with your changes just make sure to reboot your raspberry pi and then if you go to the directory we'll see right here it says 104.9 gigs is free out of 115.4 to change the root password uh, type sudo pass wd space root and then type in your new password this will uh, change the root password uh, if you need to. Um, that way you can, you know, connect as root. You don't have to uh, type sudo every time. And then uh, to update the operating system, just type sudo apt-get update. And then that will uh, get all the updates available for the operating system. And once that is done, you will actually run sudo apt-get space upgrade. And what that will do is actually uh, upgrade the operating system if there are any new packages available. So make sure to complete this step because uh, you want to make sure the operating system is stable as much as possible with the newest updates. So do not skip this step even though during the startup we already told it to check for updates but this is just to make sure and now once that is done just run the upgrade command and now uh, that will upgrade any anything that is needed we don't really need anything it says zero right there so that is nothing is actually needed to be done but it's always safe to uh, to run this command and then next, uh, you can go on each item in your menu. You can go to preferences. You can actually change your menu items. So if you go to main menu editor, you will 
be able to edit which icons are showing in your menu by default not everything is selected so you can go and select each one if you want to and once you are done just simply click OK and then open up the menu again you will see the items have been added if you have enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more upcoming videos and have a good day